Hello, friends. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm making a video right now of all of Riku's um, accessories. So stay tuned. I'll show you everything from the hair to the boots. Now, I didn't tutorial all of these just because I figured, you know, you could figure it out. So I'm just going to show you what I did for... Yeah, I'll just I'll just show you. <laughs> so here are the beads. Now I went to Joanne's. I picked up quite a few little wooden beads, circles, and I painted them. Let's see, pink and blue. And let's see. I think these are the larger ones. They come in two different sizes, large and small. So let's see, this is a small one. So, this is a large one. And I painted them with acrylic paint, and here's a blue one. Uh, acrylic paint, I don't necessarily recommend, but I didn't know what else to use. It kind of chips off, uh, especially on the wood. So if you can find another better type of paint, definitely get that. I heard that spray paint chips too, but I'm not too sure. I, I generally, I don't use spray paint. I think it's really messy, and I just don't like to use it. Um, and so after... After I made the beads, I bought these extensions. Now, I got these at Sally's. It's synthetic hair. I figured since I'm not going to wear them all the time, I might as well get synthetic. And I bought some, I don't have the package, but I bought really, really light blonde because my hair is really light and I didn't want to dye it dark. And this was the only synthetic blonde that they had. It cost me about 10 bucks, and it came with a lot of hair and it pretty much filled up my braids. Probably gonna go out and buy some more just to add extra length to my extension, but I might do that in real hair. Now, as you can see, the braids kind of got yucky. I'm gonna end up cutting all this off. See, it's yeah. I'm probably gonna actually redo this one. But these ones are a must. Um, she has two that go this way with the pink and the blue. So I did one pink one like this, and here it is. One blue one like this. So, really easy. And then I didn't buy any clips to go on these. I'm just bobby pinning them in my hair. It works exactly the same. And to get these to stay on, i pretty sure there's a piece of tape underneath there just wrapped around it to give it some extra thickness. And what I also did was, so you can see I put pink and a blue on some of them, but I left the edge of the ponytail uh, without a bead. Uh, because I'm going to end up tucking this into the ponytail, you won't see it anyways. And I left a couple braids without beads altogether. So I have nine of these, two for the front, seven to go all the way around. And I might buy a couple more just to give it extra volume. Uh, next we have her headband. Now what I did was I just took I'll link you to the link. Link you to the link. There's a girl that does a really good Riku hair tutorial. I would look it up just under Riku hair tutorial and she shows you I did the exact same thing she did. Nothing really different. I just used blue instead of purple. And this is elastic. Now I'm not sure if she mentioned this to you, but I used a zigzag stitch so it can still stretch. Um zigzag stitch what lets it stay stretchy. So don't use a straight stitch unless you're doing it by hand, then do try to do a zigzag stitch by hand. I can understand it's pretty difficult. And what I do is when I put it on, I kind of fold it up so it kind of creates the folds in it. Okay. Next I have this scarf. This is a very long scarf. Um, like I said, I knitted it myself and then I ended up spraying it with fabric spray paint. Now it looks like this. So simply spray. Uh, I tried to dye it. If you can dye it, dye it, but my dye was not working at all, so I just, you know, trashed it. And I got this stuff instead. Now, I, the red, I used cranberry. I would recommend getting the poppy red instead, because this just looks like dried blood, and Riku's scarf isn't the color of dried blood, which is kind of gross to think about, but, I mean, it's all I have, so I could always spray over it, but I kind of didn't want to ruin it anymore. I could knit a whole new scarf, but I don't want to do that. So, that's the scarf for you. 
pretty easy. You just tie off the ends too. I actually I straighten these also. Um, here I have her belts. Now this one's a little bit more time consuming. I did make a photo log of this. However, I haven't posted it yet because it's not quite finished yet. So here's the two little pouchy things. And you just pull this out and then there's the baggie inside. And it's fully lined. See with the orange is lined. Just like that. And then for here, just sew this on. These two things, uh, these are actually brads. Like what you connect the paper things together. And I just painted them silver and glued them on with super glue. <sighs> pretty cheap, pretty cheesy, but you know, it's all I had. You should, should go out and buy, you know, the actual ones. And this is a belt buckle, as you can see. Put some holes in it, and it just, like that. There you go, belt. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. I think we all know how to put on belt buckles. Let's hope so. Okay, sorry, I think I lied. If I said that was last but not least, this is last but not least. This is the boots. Okay. These are my finished Riku boots. They're kind of chipping a bit. I'll fix them up. No problem. Uh, zipper boot. Picked them up at Goodwill. These are chunkier. Hers aren't this chunky. I like chunky boots. So with the shoes, I always go with what I prefer. Not quite what the character has. Just because you're going to be wearing them the whole time. And I feel like that's one thing you can add a personal touch on. Is definitely the shoes. Because girls just have good shoes. And you know, why settle for less? Plus, I would not be caught dead in a pair of cowboy boots. I'm sorry. If you like them, that's cool. I don't like them. So anyways, I cut this down here and I glued in, sorry, I didn't glue, I stitched it in, is this piece of um, leather that I actually used from the remains of my lightning cosplay. And let me cut this. This is the back. I sewed this on as well. I was going to use a bunch of eyelets, but that would be too time consuming and it's really hard to poke holes through the leather. These are all painted with acrylic. And I just followed the pattern of the boots on hers. However, sorry, um, uh, sorry. Her boots kind of have like a pointy thing on them. These things don't, and I didn't want to paint over it because I thought it would look really tacky if I distorted the original shape of the boot. So I didn't. So that's how they look. Here's the other one. Rico boots. So let's see this one stuff the back on too. Takes a while, not too long, not too hard. Pretty easy. Overall, this cosplay is finished. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it, and I'm really excited to see what the pictures look like. And I can't wait till the convention because it's gonna look awesome. I'll give you guys tanning tips later. I know who wants to tan. I don't, but I will for cosplay. So, yeah, check in, like me on Facebook, and subscribe.